the Member of Parliament for Wild West Constituency, Superintendent Retired Peter Lanchintobu, has stated that peace is gradually returning to Kando and Lassia Tolu following the communal conflict in the enclave that claimed three lives. He said most residents who fleed from the conflict have now returned and majority back to the farms for their farming activities. <clears throat> Interacting with chiefs and opinion leaders of the feuding factions, he called on them to work to ensure that there is total peace in the area. Join you, Sapa West Regional Correspondent Rafik Salam reports from Wichiao. Since the conflict erupted on June 15 between the people of Kendeo and Lassie Tolu, who claimed three lives, dozens of security personnel drawn from the military, police, and the immigration services have been strategically deployed to the conflict communities to restore and maintain peace in the area. Feeding of these security personnel solely rely on the soldiers of the government through the World West District Assembly. To complement the effort of the government, Member of Parliament for World West, Superintendent Retired Peter Lanchere Tubu donated food items worth 10,000 Ghana cities to the World West District Security Council for the feeding needs of the personnel stationed in the conflict area. We say security is a collective responsibility. So security is not only about talking about it, believing in the peace, believing in the men and women in uniform, but also contributing tangibly to support the effectiveness of the operations on the ground. Superintendent retired Peter Lanjiri Tubu then moved to the palace of the paramount chief of the Wuchua traditional area, Na Imoro Goma, whose jurisdiction the two communities are under. His mission there is to meet and plead with him and his subjects on the need to bury the hatchet and let peace prevail in the predominant farming enclave. All those who believe in peace, and they believe that Wawa should remain peaceful. And they believe that the conflict between Lase, Tulu, and Kandel should be resolved to the detail so that we'll never experience such a thing again. There's uneasy calm in the area following the incident a week ago. But the significant thing to report now is that people are now back to the communities and farmers are back to their farms doing their normal duties. This morning, while I was coming, I saw a lot of women in the farm sewing. That is a sign of peace. Even though nobody would, have been, have been, nobody would have had the balls to go to the farm at this material moment. This is farming season. If we can't go to farm, it means that we are praying for farming. We are praying for hunger. But I'm happy that I can see the revival of the system. But let's not take things for granted. At Kendall, he entreated the chiefs and people of the area to swallow their anger and give peace a chance. One major concern raised and who they will want an intervention from the Member of Parliament was the continuous keeping of the deceased at the mock for autopsy and holding of suspects at the police cells. Superintendent retired Peter Lentino Tubu has this response for them. And I'll plead with all of you, be patient with the police. They know what they are doing. And I'm sure that at the end of the day, all of us will be happy. Nobody wants to be in cells. The policemen who are on duty here, sleeping in the, in, the, in the bush every night, they don't want to be here like that. But they are here because it's their national duty. So let's be patient with them. And let them do what is right. So all of us will have the peace. The message at Lassie Tolu was a carbon copy of what transpired at Kendiao. He reiterated that the conflict is between two communities and they have made frantic effort to resolve it, urging the public to disregard the misinformation and disinformation which can worsen the conflict situation in the area. I have said it from day one. Lase, Tolu and Kandyo have had a conflict. And the conflict is about the land in Lase. So the conflict is between Kandyo and Lase, Tolu. The conflict is not between the breakfast in Ghana and the Wallace in Ghana. If that was the case, I am sure that a lot of breakfast who are living in Wat Town would have vacated their residence. But that is not the case. There are a lot of Wala people and breakfast people who are working together. For instance, in Asanku, Asankregua, there are a lot of them in Sefi, there are a lot of them in Accra. The conflict is not a tribal conflict. It is not between Wala people and the breakfast people. It is a conflict between these two communities, Kandel and Lase Tulu. And I'm restricting it so that we don't stretch it beyond limits. 
But I'm hopeful that with the way I'm seeing the chief speak and the elders speak and the response from the youth, there is hope for the future. One thing significant, which was exhibited during the tour by the factions, recognizes the need to maintain the peace in the area which they both resolve to work towards achieving. The return of the people to their farms is also good for the optics. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam, Wachao.